are still on differential calculus today i'll be talking about caution rule caution rule is a rule that is only applicable to a function in the form of fraction either proper fraction or improper fraction so force y equals u divided by v where u and v are also function of x and and v is not equal to zero because if v is equal to zero the function is undefined therefore dy divided by dx is equal to v you keep v constant then you differentiate u with respect to x minus then now you keep u constant you differentiate v with respect to x divide by v squared this is how quotient rule is defined in differential calculus example suppose y equals x power 3 divided by x power 2 to differentiate this function you can either simplify or apply your formula direct so in this case let our u be equal to x power 3 then du over dx will be equal to 3x squared then for v equals x squared therefore dv over dx will now be equal to 2x dy over dx will be equal to you are going to substitute from this formula dy over dx is this our v is um, x squared times du over dx which is 3 x squared minus u is um, x cubed x power 3 times dv over dx which is 2x divide by v squared and v squared is um, x squared power 2 then we simplify this time this is 3 x power 4 minus this time this is 2 x power 4 divided by this is x power 4 and this all together equal to this minus this which is just x power 4 divided by x power 4 and finally dy over dx will be equal to 1 because the numerator and the denominator are the same another way you can differentiate this is to simplify by simplification this is what i mean from laws of indices x power 3 divided by x power 2 will be x and you know that dy over dx is going to be 1 and which is this so force y equals x squared minus 1 divided by x plus 1 no matter how smaller or higher the degree of the exponent is the methodology for solving the differential equation remains the same so i'm not going to be using higher degree of exponent there are two ways in which you can solve this you can first of all simplify or you can just apply your quotient rule for quotient rule you let u equals x squared minus 1 you differentiate u with respect to x and this will give us only 2x then v equals x plus 1 dv over dx equals to 1 dy over dx will be equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v squared now let us substitute our v is x plus 1 du over dx is 2x minus u is x squared minus 1 x squared minus 1 then dv over dx is 1 
so one will not change the value divide by v squared which is x plus one squared let us expand the brackets 2x times x is 2x power 2 plus 2x times 1 is 2x minus x squared plus 1. If you expand the bracket, that's what you are going to have. Divide by x plus 1 squared. Then 2x squared minus x squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 squared. From here, you know that this is a quadratic function, which is also a perfect square quadratic function, which you can factorize as x plus 1 times x plus 1. Divide by x plus 1 squared. This time, this is x plus 1 squared. Divide by x plus 1 squared. Therefore, dy over dx equals to 1. This is by using quotient rule. And I told you, you can, you can directly simplify before taking the derivative, which I think we should give a try. The question says y equals x squared minus 1 divided by x plus 1. And you know by factorization, y will be equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. And this x plus 1 will cancel this x plus 1. y equals x minus 1. That's what is left. Then dy over dx will be equal to 1 because the derivative of x is 1. Y the derivative of a constant term is 0. So you see that we have the same answers. We all have different ways of approaching different problems. So I don't think it is necessary that you have to stick to a particular methodology and you don't have to ask your student to be using a particular methodology just give them that pre-world let them try whatever they think they can